Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the licensing meeting of Tuesday, the 12th of April. Um, let's welcome everybody here. Um, just before we start with the agenda, I just want to welcome a uh, new, few new members that we've got to the committee. Um, Councillor Danny Cook, Councillor Martin Summers, uh, and Councillor Thomas Jay, who is absent this evening. Um, but also thank uh, the members that are no longer on the committee, Councillor Robert Pritchard, Jeremy Oates, and Councillor Jason Jones. Um, so we'll move into the agenda. Uh, any apologies for absence? I've received apologies from Councillor Thomas J. Um, Councillors, I've lost my notes. Sorry, uh, Councillor Steve Doyle and Councillor Alex Farrell. Have we got any other apologies at all? Nope. Okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, minutes of the previous meeting. Um, which can be found on page three to four of the agenda. Um, is it everybody's wish that I sign them as a true record? Moved by Councillor Clements. A seconder. Seconded by Peter Thurgood. All those in favour? That's carried. Thank you. Uh, uh, item agenda item number three. Uh, minutes of the subcommittee meetings, uh, which are on pages five and six. Um, I've got a mover to sign them as a true record. Moved by Councillor Rosie Claymore. Seconded by Councillor Tina Clements. All those in favour? Thank you. I'll sign them. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, agenda item number four any declarations of interest? We have none. So that brings us to the main part of the uh, meeting this evening, which is agenda item number five, review of the licensing services in 2021 and 2022. This is a report of the Head of Environmental uh, Health, uh, and I'll hand over to Wendy. Thank you. Or, or Anna, sorry. Um, I, if, well, I just want to introduce Wendy, because Wendy is new to the authority. Um, Wendy started in February of this year um, and is doing a great job um, so I'm, I'm pleased to say that she's here this evening and has authored the report and would like to, to take you through it. Thank you. Yep. Hello everyone, nice to, nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, new head of service. So I am commenting on licensing from last year when I wasn't here, um, but just really wanted to give you a review of what everyone's been doing in the licensing team for for the last year. So as you'll be able to see um, through the report, we've been um, doing a lot on the licensing act. We had a lot of license applications, variations, amendments, 50 of those, premises club certificates, 213 renewals of those, premises club certificates, five were revoked or surrendered, uh, temporary event notices, 41, uh, temporary event notices, 10s were late, were six. And as you can see, if you, I presume you've all got a copy of the report in front of you, um, request for service, 85. Uh, then we go on to the Gambling Act, registrations, 61. Request for service, 25. Um, other licensing, 75 applications. Uh, and request for service, again, 50. So a significant amount of licensing work, predominantly done by one licensing officer. Uh, the taxis, obviously, we've had a significant period of time with um, the pandemic where services had to move on online, which was quite uh, quite a challenge. Um, we've had 328 renewals for the Hackney Carriage private hire vehicles, 72 of which uh, were waiting for returned applications in order to be processed. Eight new drivers. Uh, unfortunately, we've obviously lost quite a few over the, the pandemic. The trades sort of reduced um, which is a national situation from uh, colleagues in other authorities. That's quite quite similar to other authorities. We've lost quite a few. Um, offi officers have been obviously working hard to do the backlog of applications. Um, so we've had DVLA checks to do, um, which we've fortunately got an officer who's actually been doing an awful lot of administration for us helping us to deal with the backlog in relation to that so DVLA safeguarding um, training refresher training so we were getting on top of most of that now as well so the backlog of that is significantly decreasing medicals as well were an issue for for drivers because 
clearly they weren't able to to go in and have their medicals um again we're getting on top of that but we are limited to the number of medicals that can be done by the center so um we're gradually getting getting down down those as well uh, so i think we've got 12 uh, 12 medicals are outstanding from 2020, 10 outstanding for 2021, and 11 for 2022. Uh, reminder letters have been sent out, um, and again, we'll keep an eye on that, but we're hoping that that will reduce down significantly again, so there shouldn't be too many of those left. So, um, having joined the authority recently and having had chance to sort of get my head around licensing and the challenges of licensing, you'll see in the report that the licensing staff have got are all of the same grade. So it's a very flat structure in licensing. Um, and I've put a proposal in for staffing and resources for a senior licensing officer on a temporary basis initially to look at the policies and the procedures and to give some direction to the team. There's quite a lot that needs reviewing um, and looking at and updating. Uh, I'd also like us to start doing a lot more enforcement, um, proactive enforcement in licensed premises. So working with our partners with the SIA, um, the ta doing taxi inspections, going into licensed premises with the police, checking conditions before we start getting reports of issues or before the police end up giving us a um, direction that we need to review a license. So hopefully if we're actually pre present in those places, checking conditions and compliance, uh, resurrecting our responsible um, bodies uh, group as well that we need to need to do so that again, we're aware of issues around premises that might be be happening beforehand. Um, so that's a proposal for a senior uh, licensing officer and the extension of the technical support officer again is to help help us to get on, on top of the backlog which we are doing but extending their their post would assist us um, more so to be able to to deal with that so yeah I'm quite quite keen for us to be a lot more proactive on the enforcement side of things and the same with gambling as well the gambling premises need looking at rather than just issuing licenses let's work with the gambling commission uh, and make sure that we're we're inspecting those places. Sorry. Yep. Did, did, I'm, I'm just, yeah, no, no, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Daniel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'll start with my usual tantrum. Uh, having led this authority for 11 and a half years, uh, I banned reports that said in the recommendations we note the report. <laughs> I see one slip back in. I hate that term because what it basically says is I accept I've read it. I have read it. I would rather use the term endorse. So on the recommendation, certainly, can I say we endorse the contents of the report and endorse the actions of the licensing officer? And can I add two more recommendations, please, Mr. Chairman, before you open up to any questions or debate, if, with your permission? You may. Um, sec secondly, uh, obviously taking the opportunity, I'm sure this committee's taken before over the time, but given the nature of the pandemic and the pressure put on our licensing team, that this committee send a thank you to those officers that have been involved. Certainly, you know, the efforts and the hours that were put in certainly needs to be noted by this committee, I feel. So we have that as a recommendation. And thirdly, can we uh, send a recommendation to appointments and staff and say that this committee endorse that additional member of staff and see the need to it certainly around the additional enforcement. I think it would be good to have this committee's support sent to appointments and staff and to support the request of the officers. So if I could remove those three recommendations and lose the word note, obviously, uh, I'd be happy to do so. And then obviously look forward to any debate, Mr Chairman. Thank you, Councillor Cook. Um, yeah, I, I agree with every, everything that you've just said, um, and I'll, I'd be happy to second your, your recommendations. Um, so before we, we do vote any, on anything, I'll open up the floor to any questions from anybody, um, unless, uh, Wendy, have you got anything else to add? Or? No. No, no. okay. And has anybody got any questions for Wendy at all? Uh, Councillor Claymore. Yeah, it isn't a question, it's just a comment, and you know, I'm really pleased to say that, you know, you're going to be more proactive in enforcement and try and prevent things before they're happening, you know, to keep a watchful eye on things. So I'm really pleased that that's going ahead. Thank you. Councillor Michael Oates. Thank you, Chairman. Oh, I had difficulty hearing that. Is that report available on the web? And it's, it's not, it's, can it be? It's, it, it, it's attached to the agenda, Mick. Um, it is, I'll show you later. My agenda's in there, that's closed. <laughs> okay, yep. 
Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? Any uh, councillor Clements? Yeah, just just quickly, Wendy. We raised this uh, um, the ISAG committee about the um, a resident recently did an FOI on the amount of enforcement notices we'd handed out for litter and fly tipping. Um, so I'm hoping that with your <coughs> staffing structure and that you're with a new member of, with a senior member of staff that our enforcement teams will be able to get out there and better enforce the um, the the issues that we've got around litter and, and, and fly tipping around our hotspots in Tamworth. Anna's going to tell me off now. Uh, Anna? Um, that actually falls under Joe Sands, the, um, the sort of environmental crime enforcement team rather than this enforcement team. It's, it's, it's confusing. There's some very similar activities that go on between the two teams and it's quite hard to sometimes pull them apart, but that would be Joe's team. And also, um, just agree with what um, Councillor Claymore said, uh, our enforcement teams need to be proactive in visiting our licensed premises because I think some of the issues that we've currently got wouldn't be happening if we'd have been able to get out there and, and do what we usually do. Thank you. Anybody else at all? No? Okay, before we, we go to a vote, uh, yeah, I'd just like to echo what everybody else has said. Um, I think it's it's great that you're on board, Wendy, and um, and I think we've already seen an improvement. Um, certainly, the the meetings that I've had with you have been really productive. Um, so, look forward to that in the future. So, um, we will move to the vote on the recommendations. Um, I haven't got a note of them, um, so I hope everybody can remember. <laughs> if you would like to remind the committee, uh, Councillor Cook, yeah. Uh, yeah, the committee endorsed the contents of the report and endorsed the actions of the licensing team. The committee send their thanks through you, Mr Chairman, to the licensing officers that have worked for or still work for this authority over the period of the COVID pandemic for all their great work in challenging circumstances and that we send a recommendation to appointments and staffing on the 21st of April to support the request for additional officer to support further enforcement uh, to give the officers the support they need in that recommendation. Okay. I think that covers it. Jodie, have you got a note of that? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we've had a mover. I've seconded that. All those in favour? That is unanimous and carried. Um, thank you, everybody. That brings us to the end of tonight's agenda. Uh, thank you, officers, for, for your time. Uh, thank you, everybody, for attending this evening. Thank you. <laughs>